Okay, we're going to talk about scale, how to scale a graph. Um, okay, so what we're looking for in science is, let's say you had your, your axes. Okay, sorry for my sloppy work on this tablet. Um, for science, we like to start our origin generally at zero for both axes. Um, this is you, mostly, I think, like 99% of the case where we'd start at zero. Um, this allows us to see a trend really well. Um, in rare circumstances, we might not start at zero, but for most of our graphs, we'll always be starting at zero. So that's just um, what you'll kind of want to keep in mind. Um, to think about scale, you want to make your um, evenly space out your numbers and go at, um, at particular intervals of numbers. Um, so you wouldn't want to like go up by two and then randomly go up by three and then go back up by two again. You want to always go up by like twos or by, by fives or by tens. To figure out the scale, what you would do, um, you need to find, let's say you're figuring out the scale for the x-axis here. And let's say the data that re was recorded, um, let's say the largest number that was recorded was 24. Okay. Um, and let's say we had six lines available to us. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Okay, I know that's not the best evenly spaced out, but um, so let's say we had six lines. Well, we need to divide the 24, um, the data of 24, because we need to make sure that that 24 can fit on our graph and divide it by the six lines available to us. So 24 divided by 6, you get 4. Now, most of us would probably think, oh, 4 is a good number to count by. Um, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Um, but when you're graphing, it sometimes it's hard to estimate exactly where um, a data point would lie when um, you use a number that doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. So generally, we like to um, round up our scale to something that usually ends in a zero or a five or you go like by twos okay so so like two by ones by twos by fives by tens by twenties by fifty or by twenty fives by fifties so for here the four we'd want to round up to five okay so then we would say five ten fifteen twenty 25, 30. So that would allow us some room in case we wanted to extrapolate our data. So if we wanted to predict what would happen beyond the 24th piece of data, we would be able to do that now since we um, rounded up a little bit to um, a number, like in this case, 5. 